test drive time here at Maple Motors. This is a 1993 Ford Mustang. There's only 1,500 of these white cars produced in 93, which is kind of wild. It's got the 5.0 power steering, power brakes, vertible top. It's white, so is the interior. Pony wheels. Should be a good test drive. Dual exhaust out the back, five-speed transmission. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. Detailed pictures on all of our cars. Plus financing and shipping. And of course, we're getting about 50 to 60 cars every single month. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Yep. We're going to check out this interior just like we do on all the test drives here at Maple Motors. The top on this one is not in bad shape. It's actually pretty clean. We'll look at the outside of it before we get going too far. I always like to look at the top. A little spot there. Got a little rip here. Up in this corner. There. A little older, I guess. Inside looked really good. Outside's got some spots. Alright, so. Jumping up on the interior. You can see the seat's got some wear. Not perfect. A little fading from sun. This is always broken. <laughs> it's like every one of these I've ever seen has been broken. Oh well, I take that back. I had a car once that it wasn't. We'll go ahead and start her up. Starts up good. We're gonna give her a little bit for the uh, it's temperature to come up. Got a faulty low coolant light. I'll show you the mileage. Showing uh, 48,963. Well, every 100,000 that turns over and goes back to zero. Just letting you know. I'm gonna try some stuff like the heat because I'm gonna need it. We're gonna have to drop the top here halfway through the video. And I want some heat wipers yeah <laughs> you have to stop them at the right time ready boom baby that's it place your bets do you think the horn works to be trying it out ready no and no I'm very shocked I thought the horn was gonna work what about the radio let's turn it on give me some Jamming. Radio works. So we're blowing, we're jamming. Passenger window is going down there. What about the rear? It's trying to go up, but it's not coming down. What about this side? It is coming down. Started jumping there at the bottom. And then our rear. Do you hear it? But it's not doing a thing. I'm gonna say it'll probably go down. A... No, it's stuck up. Maybe we won't drop the top in this video. That's all right, it's starting to get chilly. All right, let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, we're heading out of here. Where's my seat belt at? It's hidden. Get her put on, take off. Oh. Open road. Got a little heat coming out of there now. We'll cut it down. Let's go. Clutch is letting out about halfway. She's going straight as an arrow down the road. Let's see if I can push the clutch in all the way there. Steering's pretty tight. Gotta hit them brakes. They feel okay. It is drawing a little bit third there. Let me try it again.
greater error and it kind of looks like it is. Heard it again, but also if I give it time, it seems like it's not doing it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong here, guys. Shifting a lot. <laughs> Be on suspension there. Once in a while it's doing it. I just gotta let it slow down, I assume. Just start getting into it. Taking the long route, aren't we? A lot of shift getting that leg worked out. <laughs> well, our engine temperature has come up pretty good. We're looking at uh, maybe 150. Next is get some outside shots. We don't need gas today. We have almost half a tank. And uh, we'll light up that undercarriage. And we'll end with picking out the flaws. Let's do it. brake on here and uh, of course the top is right there but before we do that we're gonna pull both sides there we are where's that top switch going down that is quick now let's see what else we can do here I'm gonna roll down this window I don't know about these guys Check them out a little bit. It's 
making noises. Oh, it started to go down. I think with a little bit of finesse, this will come down. Let's see if I get y'all set up here. I'm not gonna go all the way down with it, because that's dangerous. Might not get it back. That one over there, I don't know how I'm gonna finesse it all the way across the car. But I'll go over there and mess with it a little bit. Let's see what y'all, uh, see if I can get y'all pointed in the right direction. It doesn't have the back switch here for me to be able to do this. Got an idea. This one's not gonna finesse down. It's loose too. You can hear it. I was wondering if it's propped up. No, it's connected. Well, we're not gonna have one of them down. playing a video game there for a second. It's kind of tough. I could see the screen. man i done got the windows up i got everything back up that actually came up pretty easy i just held on to it and pushed the button to come right up but it's not exactly right i'm gonna cut that heat off because i'm burning up now engine temperature has been at 150 for a while so i don't know if i trust it and that may be a little higher than 150 it goes all the way up to 270 there which would be crazy but but I have checked the motor. I just did the walk around. The motor is still moderately cool. It's not overheating or anything like that. I'm gonna say it's about 170 to 180 uh, on temp. And we're gonna head on back to the lot now. I'll make sure y'all are good. Yeah? Y'all look pretty good. Come on. Let me turn my phone on airplane mode. Running up into some traffic here. I'm just gonna let all these people pass. So that we can actually get a thorough drive. I know we drove a lot on the way here, but hey, why not? 
I had somebody catch up to me and then I got stuck behind that big uh, van, so box truck. Shake that shifter. Everybody gets so mad about that. Why? <laughs> I shake my shifter all the time and don't get mad about it. I'm cool. I'm cool with it, man. All right, let's do this. Look, a little bit of a gap here. Back in my brakes. Bump here in the road. A little stiff in the back on this one. Just a little bumpy. Well, I think every test drive I've done today, I went to Brian's Motorsports. I'll just give him a shout out this time. Check out Brian's Motorsports as well. He's a, uh, a guy that customizes vehicles for a living. He's been doing it for years and years, and he's worth checking out. So when people will buy cars from us, send it down there to get aftermarket wheels, tires, uh, maybe suspension and they do it all the time. So he's worth checking out. Again, brianzmotorsports.com. He's right down the road from here. Always got something cool in his parking lot. We're gonna go ahead and pull back in our parking lot here and do picking out the flaws. Chips, scratches, rust, dents. If it's there, you'll know about it on this car. Thanks guys. Be sure to hit subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. And we've got some special guests coming up soon. I think you'll like. Have a good one. Let's walk and talk about this little Mustang. So I noticed there's a lot of little chips up front, uh, mainly on the hood here. That's the worst spot of the whole car. I'd have to get that touched up. We'll start in the front here. Got some chips over here too. Stuff from the road. Chips over here. Headlights. Look pretty good. A little moisture inside that. This side's dry. Coming down the side. Tires are in good shape. Scuff right here. It's been touched up. Coming on down. Little pieces, a little warped. It's not bad. Mustangs. These little plastic pieces tend to do that. Chips at the bottom. Here's a bunch of chips right there as well. spot here got a dent right here a couple chips in the back some dirt make sure oh it did come off wasn't nothing wrong with that this really is a beautiful car i like white on a car a lot up top here replace that tape so it's not so dirty looking maybe just scrub it clean it window looks good sucks about this one they're not going down but it is what it is 
seal on that top looks decent. Coming up on the back bumper, I've done pulled some stuff out. Looks like this goes on the bottom of the seat. And that's a boot for your convertible top. It's all white matches in there. So, scuff there. <clears throat> you got a couple little scuffs in the back here too. They should come off with some wax chip here. A little rust on the tailpipe. Jams do not look bad. Down in your trunk, carpet's still there and it looks pretty good. Spare tire, jack, good deal. Trunk lid, LX car here. Those look like a little bit of moisture on the inside of the trunk. Sweating though. I know why it's sweating. It's been zero degrees and then 60 degrees. I don't <laughs> the weather's crazy around here. Man, I forgot to put all that in there. That's all right, I'll do it in the end. Looking at her wing, her wing's pretty clean. Chips on the edge here. Chips around this edge. So right there. Coming on down this side. Chips here in the back. Tires look good. These wheels look awesome. Somebody put a nice set of wheels on this one. Very clean is what I'm saying. Chips on the side here. Little chip there on the wheel. Back your midsection. Touch that mark. Chips on the edge here. A little fading going on that handle. There's something going on here. Touch up marks. Touch up mark. A little dirt. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Start her up. Head on back to the lot. We've already seen pretty much everything on the interior, but we're gonna glance one more time. I know uh, I ain't showed under the door or nothing. We'll go ahead and look at that. The tore up there with the seal. Faded. Oh, yeah, get that heat going. Yeah, it's already cooling back off today. I bet you it's in the uh, high 40s. No, it's in the low 50s. I'm just liking the heat.
Pretty quiet. Yeah, the front of that hood's the worst part on the car. Just a lot of chips right there in the nose. Worth fixing, that's for sure. Kind of scatters up here, but not as bad. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping, you know where to go, maplemotors.com. I do this every day. Help me out. Hit subscribe and share this video. I do appreciate that, guys. Thanks in advance. Uh, also, try to read all of your comments, so when you leave comments for me, I'll try to get back with you. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the trunk. Uh, you can join us on other social media programs, uh, such as TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. We use those platforms every day to advertise our vehicles, and it just so turns into a video that you might be entertained watching. If that's so, share it. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm heading back to the lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.